Welcome back everyone for the next part of Chrono Arc. In the last part we had a difficult fight against the witch. And thanks to her I kind of ended up using pretty much all aside of one of my breads, which is probably not good seeing how we uh, are currently a bit lacking on healing supplies around here. I mean, we do have a healer, so we don't really need to worry about that, but it doesn't really change the fact that we are kind of uh, lacking all sorts of healing items. Now, I have a bunch of scrolls, and I got a bunch of tips that scrolls can become really, really handy. One of the scrolls is able to sell my stuff. There's no way for me to sell stuff on the shop. I need a scroll for that. The thing is... I kind of need to use the scroll in order to figure out what it does. And one of the scrolls are able to lift the curse of those sparkly foes in case I want to fight those guys. So I kind of need to wait until we run into said sparkly foe, right? Especially seeing how I literally have like one copy each. But I have a feeling that I, at the very least I need to use it once in order to... Uh, Figure out which form <laughs> the scroll is uh, actually going to take. I mean, they all look different. At the very least, we have that. If they don't save the name of that scroll, at the very least, I can rely on the icon itself to remember it. <sighs> difficult. Really, really difficult. Oh, and by the way, as you can see from the keys, I put the skeleton key relic into the relic slot over here. And after doing that, it got kind of stuck. So I guess uh, we pretty much sacrificed the slot in favor of five keys. But I guess that's worth it, because keys are really, really rare. And so many different things require keys around here. So I guess those five keys are probably worth it? Oh, and I used the skill bot really quickly in between this part and the last one. And I got... Oh, it's been a week. What did I get for you? Ah, right, right. I got him the shield... Oh, rather, not the shield breaker. The weapon breaker. In case we need to tank even more strong attacks. Now we have a way to actually lower their power. For one of the attacks, from the looks of it. 25% is certainly going to be really handy. I just need to make sure that uh, I can draw the skill... So in that regard, I should probably add another card draw into this. But more mana would be helpful as well. It's always a bit difficult to decide what to do around here. Right? It's always a bit difficult. Oh, but there's one thing I want to change really quickly. Uh, I can change my fixability to something else. And it's probably worth it for me to use the healing light as her fixability. Sure, it will cost a little bit more, but having an instant AoE heal available at all times that also boosts up my prophecy is certainly going to be really, really handy. Right? Certainly. And for the others, I'm not entirely sure. I could technically put blood flux into this. Could, but at the very least, I know that I'm I'm going to, I'm certainly going to put the the charge of fate in there if I can do that. I can't do that. Never mind. So, and for him, I'm gonna change it to weapon breaker because you never know when you need to debuff an attack, right? It's not really the strongest move that he has, but this is certainly going to come in handy. For Hein, I'm just not sure. Physical attack is decent enough. I don't really need anything else. The AoE would be nice, but it's already kind of expensive. And I kind of need the illusion sword in the deck itself in order to get the illusion buff on the top and below skill, right? It's difficult. I need more skills for Hein. I kind of need more skills for Hein, but I'm still not going to level you up. I'm really sorry. We need them MP. Or the card draw. I'm not entirely sure which of them we're going to get. I'm probably going to decide after the next battle or something like that. Right? Pretty much. After all, it seems like we're in a new area. The bloody park. Okay. 
But a little bit red around here, which is probably not so good, but that should be fine. We could already have a fight right here, but I guess it would be better for me to just check this out first. The garbage dump. Obtain one random heroic equipment piece. One Lucy curse. Or obtain three <laughs> random scrolls. I see. Oh, wait. Obtain two bread or use three bread to combine it to a golden bread. Now that sounds really interesting because I'm not entirely sure if this is this is good. A curse with a heroic tear thingy. Or healing items. I think I would prefer to have the healing items right now. Specifically because we lack a little bit of healing supply. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. And I really wish that I had some bread around here, but sadly, I don't have that right now. I mean, I could technically create two, and if I still had the options, I could make the golden one, but... Uh, yeah, it seems like I can only use this once. A shame, but oh well. Now then. Okay, we have ghosts around... We have ghosts around here, which is probably a good thing, right? It's probably a good thing. I'm gonna go for the Charge of Fate first. Um, what is, what is that? Okay, they have some kind of smoke. What's that? Ghost, dodge the attack. This buff is removed if you receive an attack that costs more than zero. So you wait for us to get hit. Mrs. Ghost. Whenever Mrs. Ghost lands an attack, if there are two or more attack skills in your hand, select one to exclude. So you are able to get rid of my attacking spells? Okay, that's certainly not going to be so good. I'm certainly going to go for the Charge of Fate. Simply because I can literally taunt them both so that they go for my guy. It's certainly going to be really, really handy. I still have three mana. I could go for Accelerate, but there's not really a point to that. Divine Revelation is certainly going to be helpful. Which means I can go for Guardian Angel. The Blood Flux, just in case we need that. Guardian Angel is going to be activated right away. Okay. I'm gonna just exchange this one for something else. But then again, I was pressed. Ah, shoot. I need to remember Q is end and shift is exchange. Shift is exchange. Okay, let's activate the shield of retribution. Why are there suddenly so many enemies? Okay. Let's activate the shield of retribution for the for the clown perchance, then a heal for our hero, okay that's a good hit, we need one more in order to finish her off and she's about to lash out. The assault slash is going to hit everything but has a countdown of one so she's going to get a hit. No matter what I do she's gonna get a hit unless of course I go for shining one. But that would eat up too much of our resources. Unless of course I go for a sword slash. Reduce the cost to one. Still not enough. But I can certainly trigger this first. And then I can go for the normal attack to finish her off before she has a chance to attack. The sword slash is activated, which got rid of the second ghost. That guy's about to attack. That's probably not a good thing. Do I still have Shield of Retribution? Yes, I have. So we go for Blood Flex. Okay. How about a little protection for the boy? And I wish I could do something else, but I don't really have anything. Except, of course, going for Shift. And then another heal for the heck of it. Okay. Now only the ghost is able to attack, which is probably a good thing. Can you do anything? No, you can't. Thank you, shield. I really love that <laughs> attack. It's that. Another scroll. A purple ribbon, a bunch of gold, and three soul stones. Thank you very much. Now I should be able to increase my MP a little. 
Technically speaking, I could level her up a little bit further, but maybe it's better for me to save that up a little bit more. I really need to add up my card draws. I might need to get some options that give us mana as well. So far I always went for the select draw options because they're really really handy. But you guys did mention that I at the very least I need to ensure to get some mana of regeneration around here. We do have a little bit with dual, but it doesn't really draw that often, right? It doesn't really draw that often, and I can't really select that as my fixability either. Which reminds me, the salt slash was really, really handy to have. Maybe it would be best for me to put that there. But if I put it as fixability, I can't really speed it up, so... Ah, hi, this is always so difficult. I can't decide with you. <laughs> I just can't decide what I'm gonna do with you. But at the very least, it seems like we're about to find another treasure around here. Ah, never mind, it's a shop. Hmm. I could buy another skill book. Oh, wait! That is an identification scroll. And that instantly revealed that scroll to us. So if I were to use this on on that scroll, I can instantly tell that this is a teleportation scroll that will just randomly move me to some other tile. Great! Technically speaking, I could buy two of those identification scrolls in order to figure out the rest, but I probably shouldn't do that. What's that? Draw one more skill at the start of the battle, then shuffle the deck. If 20 or more skills are shuffled, for one more skill. Oh, that sounds handy. If uh, <clears throat> I had the money, which I don't, <laughs> maybe we can find a couple of baths around here somewhere, like the one at the south, in order to afford it. I would really love to see that. My god, now they're really giving us a bunch of enemies. So it just deals 50 damage. Don't mind if I do, right? Interesting. At 6 stake, create a skill that deals 50 damage. Alright, ah, because of that relic that I gave you. I almost forgot about that card. Oh, it seems like it's really handy. Like, really, really handy. Huh? <laughs> In that case, an rage, and that should do the trick. Okay, not so bad, but I can already see the smoke in the background. <laughs> That's probably not a good thing. We need to be a little bit faster with these uh, in these encounters, right? <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Some kind of treasure room again? Love to see it. Gambler's Armlet. Reduces attack power, healing power, but boosts crit chance and crit damage and critical heal. Well, I'm certainly going to take it. I'm just not entirely sure if that's a good thing. I mean, technically speaking, the 50% the crit chance sounds good. But I'm usually never that lucky, right? I'm usually never that... Oh! Convert item into gold. Oh, I could sell this and get the, the scrolls and the other stuff from the shop. Or I could smell the equipment to transform it into a different item of the same type. It seems like a relatively good item. It might be handy. Wait a second, up to 1500 gold can be converted. I would lose 200 gold if I did that. I kind of want to try out the decrypted forge. We could need the money, but I kind of... Nah, let's play it safe. I can also buy healing items from this, right? Certainty. Here you go. You can have the bracelet. I'm gonna take the money. And it seems like I can transfer even more. But it seems like he ran out of gold. That's a bit of a shame, but at the very least, now we have some stock available to us. I just need to explore a little bit more and see if we can find even more money around here. For chance- oh my god, bread! Yes! Thank you! I take every resource of HP around here! Every little bit! What do we have here? Sacrifice one class skill on an ally 
and upgrade one skill. Bloody Lottery. Use one key to risk 50% of chance to obtain a curse skill. Then select one of four relics to obtain. There's a 50% chance to mess up, but I can pick one of the relics. Sounds interesting, but on the other hand... Sacrifice of Knowledge might be better for us. Yeah. Especially considering that I do have a skill on Hind that I wouldn't really mind losing. Sure. Let's go for it. Oh, wait. I clicked that wrong. Sacrifice a skill. I don't really mind sacrificing the blood first. But then again, it also boosts up his healing gauge protection. I barely use it. I kind of just throw it away. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of Shiny Pillar. Yep. Upgrade a skill. If played from hand, gain one skill exchange. Move the skill to the top of the deck when battle starts. That might be handy. I would love to have Guardian Angel at all times. It's just really, really handy. I can't really have it on First Splits to Heaven because I need to pull it with uh, the Prophecy. And that just gives us a barrier with a tech boost and free healing spell for pretty much every turn. Which is just really, really handy. Yeah, let's boost up the Guardian Angel. We will forever be protected with the Guardian Angel. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, uh, before we do that... Uh, before we do that, I'm gonna open up the path first. Because we have learned... Oh no, wait, that's wrong. Those sparkly battles are kind of dangerous, right? They are kind of dangerous. And I think I would love to have more card roll. I could get another deep thought, but it's not really that handy at this point. Draw a skill. Draw one additional skill for two turns. Continuous draw sounds great. Lightning draw sounds even better. Okay, then we still have three more. I could level her up. Is it needed? What's this? Cannot be used. You can remove the skill by forgetting it. Sacrifice knowledge. Uh, yeah, please uh, forget about that skill. <laughs> For a second I thought like, what? Is my girl cursed? No. No, it's fine. <laughs> No, but seriously, I could level her up. Would it be worth it? Probably. She would become a little bit tankier. It's not like I can level her up for a while. But then again... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give you one level up. It's this purifying barrier. Remove a random debuff. Prophecy, remove one more debuff. 15 barrier. Double heal, 16. Chain heal the selected target by 16 after a cooldown. The next prophecy will have one more option. Remove one stack when you make a prophecy. Sounds handy. Adjustment aim. Shuffle all first class to heaven in the deck pile back into the deck. Then make a prophecy prioritizing the user's skill. Cost is reduced by 1 if the user is healed, but that skill is in hand. Ooh, okay. With this, I pretty much have another chance to pull first class to heaven and get the boost. You know what? Sure. I take that one. Sounds really handy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, then. Let's check out the, the boss fight of the stage, which is a giant tank. Uh-huh. Kaboom! Thank you. I didn't want to live anyways. What's this? Take no damage from targets at dead door. Aha. Uh -huh. Well. Um. Good that we have uh, options. Right? Good that we have options. I'm gonna um, heal everyone up a little. Which only did like one <laughs> HP on him? Uh-huh. Sure. Why not? 
right? Can I weak him a little? Yes, I can weak him a little. Okay, that debuff is gonna stay. I'm gonna go for another Divine Revelation. Give me adjustment aim. And... Probably deep and fought. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I could at the very least give protection to my healer. I could reshuffle this attack back into the deck. Lightning Raw is not usable right now. I have to end it here. Then I'm going to get the Accelerate. It's gonna get another attack. That's not good. Uh, healer up, please. That killed you? Right, I forgot. It does pain damage. That's not good. And then we're going to go for adjustment aim. I didn't get what I wanted, but that's fine. Let's go for Shield of Retribution. Mm. I'm gonna speed it up. Use it right away. Guardian is gonna give you a little shield with a slight heal. He's currently... He currently lost a little bit of his attack value, which is probably going to be handy. I can give him another slap if I wanted to, but do I want that? You know what? I'm just gonna tank the next hit. I'm going to use Deep and Fort. Yeah, Deep and Fort, and I'm going to get a basic heal. Oh god! What? I thought you shoot again! Parade autom automation. You have allies? Aha. Uh -huh. Great. Well, uh, good for you. I'm gonna use the chance to heal up my guy really quickly. I wish I had another healing option right now, but I don't. Let's exchange this. We have dual available for the next turn. Can't really use it right now because e neither of them is trying to go for an attack right now. I am going to debuff you though, just in case. I don't really want you to get a chance to hit us like that. Evasion minus 10% is gonna be handy. I can shift anything, I can draw anything, it's gonna be fine. Please don't attack. Please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. You might shoot. Can I lower your attack again? I can certainly go for duel first. Then I have the shield of fate. I'm gonna save that for the next turn. I am going to debuff you though, just in case. Okay, that's not so bad. You lowered my attack power a little. Let's go for first class to heaven. 33 damage is certainly gonna be handy. I'm gonna exchange the lightning draw for something else. Divine Revelation is gonna be handy. Give me the shield and the protection. We're gonna protect the girl. I wish I could do something else, but I can't right now. Another deep and fort. So attack is currently destroyed, so shouldn't really do that much damage, which means I'm going to go for the Shield of Retribution again. Trigger. That door. It's fine. It's fine. For this sake, for this sake, we have the basic heal. And the protection. And a deep fort, which gives us another heal, which we kind of need for our healer right now. Shield of Retribution is going to be activated as well. Technically speaking, I could go for the Charge of Fate. Practically speaking, it might be better for me if I just go for a Web Break again. Yeah, and I'm just gonna exchange the Fate back into the deck. There's no reason for us to use Aim yet. It's fine. End the turn. I can get another Divine Revelation. Which we are totally going to use. 
Divine Revelation. I'm gonna get the duel. Mm, I could go for Charge of Fate, but there's no real reason for that. Let's get the heal. I'm certainly going to go for the duel. Can I reshuffle? Could reshuffle the heal back into our deck. Practically speaking, it might be best for me if I were to just go for a basic attack instead. It just depends what he's going to do. Sixteen HP. Actually speaking, never mind. We could just finish it off. It's fine. It's fine. It's all a okay. The tank is down. The tank is down, and I'm really sorry, Heine. It kind of seems like you always somehow end up dying. <laughs> Every time, I just can't keep my Heine alive. I need to get rid of that skill. It's just, I mean, it's handy, but it's also kind of deadly for him. Right? It is kind of deadly for him. <laughs> Oh look, we got some tea or coffee, I'm not entirely sure. What's that? During battle, deal 40 damage to all enemies when Black Fork arrives. Ooh. Interesting. Infinite skill book. Usable on the field, view 5 random skill classes per ally and learn 1. 3 allies 15 skill, 4 allies 20 skill, but I can only pick 1. Interesting. Really, really interesting. Can I beat the other one? Probably not, right? Yeah, I should probably just take my win and leave. It's probably for the best because Heine right now is not really in a good condition. Like at all. <laughs> Poor Heine. <laughs> okay, let's see. It seems like we can recruit someone again. Oh, dear, look at that. I could get another healer. <laughs> Or I could get another DPS. Or I could finally bring Miss Shane out, which is actually another tank that loves to destroy stuff. But practically speaking, Hein already has some kind of form of uh, illusion blade, which means he could technically help him out a little. Right? Technically. So yeah, sure. Let's pick Azad. Come on back, Azad. I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy this. Do I need to eat anything? Probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that has to be enough. I'm just going to try to overheal you in the next couple of battles. I don't really want to use all of my bread again. I could use the blacksmith, but I don't really think I have any equipment pieces. No, not really. Token of friendship. We did get some uh, coffee here. Technically speaking, anyone could like coffee. Maybe the priestess likes coffee. Do you perchance like coffee? <laughs> Pressel? Oh my, is this a present? Thank you very much. I will offer this gift to the Lord. May the Lord bless your day ahead. Did she like it? Kind of hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> Lucy, let us pray. What? Let us pray. What? All of a sudden? We send countless lives to the Lord today. Although they are demons beyond salvation, they will soon be purified and guided to the righteous path in accordance with the Lord. Now, let us pray for those souls. I mean, I can try. Amen. An excellent prayer. As I expected, you have the marks of a great priest. Let us put our faith in the Lord together. I can tell that you are a devoted believer, Pressel. It's like your faith is unshakable, and you're very confident in your own actions. But to be honest, it's a little overwhelming sometimes. Well, we still have a long way to go. This world is still full of evil beyond salvation. My goal is to purify this world of such evil, down to the very last soul. And in turn, I will fill this world with what is truly good. And truly good? <laughs> How about we save this for the next time? It's a long story. 
We should get going now. It's about time that I use my bat. My holy staff, I mean, to purify more monsters. Ah, uh, but you just said bat. My holy staff, you mean? Ah, uh, right. Of course. I mean, everything can be holy if you put a cross on it, right? <laughs> and sending them straight to heaven is certainly an interesting way to put it. Ah, there you go. First talk in the quiet. Great. I think with this we are pretty much done here. Uh, Sa's back. Seems like they want to make sure that we remember his passive. But don't worry. Oh. But don't worry, I'm pretty pretty used to his skills by now. What's that? Rupini deal extra damage. Infinite swords though. Infinite swords. Sounds really, really handy. Illusion calling sword. Create two illusion swords in hand or apply illusion swords to two skills in hand. That sounds handy. Select an ally and create an illusion sword in hand that they can use. Deal 7 damage to an enemy. Veiled sword. Armor 33%. When attack, remove one stack and cast illusion sword to all enemies for 8 attack. So I can pretty much give him more protection if I wanted to. Or I could get one of the favorite skills that just literally gives us uh, a second hit if we were to get uh, the infinite sword as well. Hmm. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna pick the Crescent's Plate. I can get another Sword of Infinity. Interesting. Or Storm Plate. Reduces cost whenever a zero skill is played. It can be fixed. I could use that as a fixed skill and wait for Infinite Sword. It is 28 damage. Sure. Why not? Why not, Red? Why not? Okay, let's see. You don't really need healing skills. We are pretty much good on the healing department. We're gonna change that for Stormblade. And I would say this looks pretty good so far. I could give you an additional level. We do have the mana souls, the soul stones for that. Or I could add even more draw power into this. But then again, if I wait a little bit more, I could just get one more extra mana point. Yeah, let's wait a little bit more. Okay. And I see that a certain donation box is back. I guess uh, from here on out, it's always around and ask for money. Which is good, because I'm pretty sure I need to fill that box, right? Most likely. At the very least, I'm gonna put those two relics in there really quickly. The firecracker and the, and the hip sack, so that we can draw even more. And I can remove them whenever I feel like it. Okay, they are not stuck like the skeleton key. That's gonna be really, really handy. Now, I could use the infinite skill book. But I guess we can hold on on that for a little while longer. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Now then. Let's see, are we still in the bloody park? Seems like it. Only one way to the right, that's good. There's already a battle waiting for us to the right side of this place. But first and foremost, how about we see which type of treasure we can find. The tech power one, heal power free, or the axe of rage that boosts up our attack power by 28, but reduces the speed by 2. What does speed entail? Not entirely sure about uh, 28 attack sounds really good though. I do kinda need the healing power. I need to ensure that the uh, Hein is getting boosted up again. It's kind of low. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Press up. Here you go. Let's hope that this is gonna be enough for uh, in order to ensure that Heiner is going to make a full recovery as soon as possible, hopefully. The boss seems to be to the right of this place, that's good. But first and foremost, there's another shop available to us. 
I'm a little bit broke right now, but technically speaking, there's another mark portion on the table. I really wish I could just sell you the stuff that would make things a lot easier for me, but sadly, it's not really an option right now. Oh, is it another trading shop? No, even better, another treasure that you can grab. Assassin's Ring lowers our HP, crit damage up, crit rate up. Bible revised, healing power 10%, crit chance 10%. Weakening accuracy, 15%. Well, never mind, Pressel. I guess you have another healing item available to you. Or would you look at that? Oh no, don't equip that. Please equip the Bible. You can give the healing one to... Probably Hein, because he technically has a healing ability. At least for now, he still has one. He can certainly make use of that, right? Certainly. He has currently an illusion blade, which means I can attack twice. 90 damage leads! <laughs> oh god! Okay, good job! Good job, and we got another Bible. How many Bibles could they possibly give us in this little area? I got two different types of Bibles. What's <laughs> that? Obtain two tablets or two herbs? Vault of Time, choose an item and preserve it. If the party is annihilated, you can start with this item in the next run. Enchantment and curses are not carried over. Oh. Okay. Uh. I kinda wanna get the healing herbs, but this sounds interesting. Do I have anything that I want to save? Can I put the keys in there? But then again, I do kind of need the keys. I actually don't really have anything that I would love to put in there. Yeah, that's fine. We're going, we're going to get the... The herbs or the tablets? I mean, I already have a herb, so I guess we're going to go for the medication, which cures weakening and CC. That's gonna come in handy, hopefully. Another 138 gold, four salt stones. And some kind of scroll that just teleports us randomly. Great! Just... just great. I'm not entirely sure when this is going to come in handy, but... Surely, surely, at some point, maybe if I want to sneak behind an enemy or something like that, right? <laughs> What's that? Enchantment. Apply random positive enchantment to an equipment piece. It can be used three times. Pay soul stones and buy... Investigator Lucy Rare skills or upgrade a skill? You don't say. A rare Lucy skill. That sounds interesting. And we do currently have a couple of soul stones. You know what? Sure. View Investigator Rare skill and purchase one. Lucy Rare skill. Purchase one. Can I get a preview? Can, can I get a preview before I do this? What's a kid doing in a place like this? Well, as long as you have some stones, anything goes. Let me take a peek on the Lucy skills. You three random class skills of the target and select one to be created in hand. The created skill gains exclude and it costs is reduced by one. Okay. Tantrum. Draw skills until there are six in hand. Okay, both sounds really good. If I ever run out, I could just redraw six cards instantly. But with this, I have access to pretty much all of their class skills. And then I can pick three that are randomly selected. <sighs> Difficult, but I think I think I want a tantrum. <laughs> I kind of imagine that the tantrum might be more fun for us, right? <laughs> but it seems like I can only buy one of the items. Which is understandable, because both options seemed really, really good for us, right? Like, really, really good. But I guess, yeah. Yeah, the illusion splash is, is also really great. Okay, we're going to go for this, and then I'm just gonna forget one of the basic slashes. Okay. 
Anything else that I want to change around here? Not really. Didn't really got a skill that I would love to pick just in order to discard it, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, technically speaking, there's one more battle ahead of us, right? Yeah, the boss battle is still ahead of us. I could get enough resources to discard... Oh, shoot. Oh, no. The last one that was next to an altar like that was really bad. But technically speaking, he might give us enough soul stones to level up again. So I have another chance to use the witch's uh, table, right? Pretty much. What is going on here? If you're not with us, you're dead. Hello? Uh, press that slash? Do I want that? Do I need that? Sure. Cleanse. Bind. Can be used three times. Remove, remove all stigma. Draw the skill if, you, if it's not in your hand at the start of the turn. Stigma? Shared health. Cannot be disabled. These bosses share health. Okay. One has evade, one has armor. Sapphire Ruby. Wait. One of them is already getting ready for a hit. That's probably not good. I could technically go for the Guardian Angel right away. Might be for the best, but at the same time, I kind of want to save it a little bit more. Let's go for the Charge of Fate first. I need to get the Taunt ready. Then I'm going to make sure that your attack hits a little less. You dodge that, that's not good. 14 damage, Ruby Stigma. 9 damage whenever one casts one skill. Okay. I can go for a cleanse in order to boost up my draw power in the next turn. Probably going to do that as well. That pretty much uses up all of my resources, but that's fine. I'm just gonna use another heal in order to give him a little barrier. Then we're going to exchange one of our skills. Which is... His basic attacks for now. Yeah. That's gonna be fine. Okay, let's end it here. Double slash. Sapphire stigma. Okay. Oh yes! First class to heaven! <laughs> Mana cost of the skill in hand is increased by two. Ah, that's not good. That's really not good. But it's fine. Because we are first class to heaven. And I'm going to send her to heaven! Okay, that didn't really do that much damage as I hoped. She's getting ready for another hit. Can I now decrease her attack? A little bit. Okay, I take that. Nine damage for actions. Let's go for the executioner's mark. 37. Okay, I think that's it. I don't have access to any other skill right now. I could go for cleanse. Should I already cleanse it? 18 damage? It's gonna hurt a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna use cleanse once. On my high at least. It's not really in the best condition. That's not fair! Hey, you gave me that card! Probably. Or not? Not entirely sure. Nevertheless, I'm probably going to use Guardian Angel next round. Uh, let's end the turn here. Sapphire Hand. Okay. Infinite Sword. Yes, please. Let's see your stat on our boy. Guardian Angel. Infinite Swords. I wish I could use it right away. Sadly, right now, I don't really have access to that. Let me give you a slash with this. And another. And I don't have any more MP. Okay, we dodge that. Ouch. Not good. Let's go for Deep and Fort. And we go for Crescent Slash. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but that's fine. Oh, that 
even that even boosts up the illusion swords? Oh, that's just mean at this point. Well, this is certainly going to heal first, that's fine. Then I can go for Deep and Forge in order to draw this. I can exchange another one of my attacks, like the Shield of Retribution right now. Then we can use the Stormblade. Accuracy 103. Can I hit her, please? I would love to hit her. Let's lower his damage, uh, her damage a little bit. Okay, we hit that. Got a double slash, which hit, hit actually my, my healer. Oh my god, you're not making this any easier for me. Lucian Blade. Dead door for my boy. It's fine. We're gonna enter turn here. Duel. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Not my Heidel! Why is Heidel every time? Heidel is always, always dying! <laughs> always dying! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Okay. I can cleanse for my girl. She's currently countering? Which means I can only hit her. We're going to go for this though, in order to ensure that uh, her next attack is going to be a little bit weaker. Then a little bit of heal. I can go for a basic attack. Or not Divine Revelation. Is a point for Divine Revelation? Maybe. Lightning draw, heal, lightning draw. Heal up. Change that. Charge of fate. Oh, is there no way for me to get rid of their steepers? If only I could draw the one skill that I really need. Maybe in the next round. Okay, let's end it here. First test to heaven. Yes, I need that. I need that. She's still countering. I'm not able to shake that off anymore. Just very unlucky. Another 45. Lower the damage. Heal the boy. Let's change the expensive skill. They're all kind of expensive. That's not good. Lightning draw. Okay. He's still alive. It's fine. As long as he's still alive, everything is fine. She dodged another hit. Press it slash. I mean, it's good that you create more and more illusion swords and all, but uh, they cost four right now. And I'm gonna heal him up. And then I'm going to use Stephen Ford in order to get another first class to heaven. Just going to go straight to the girl. 27, okay. Ouch. It's fine. Divine Revelation, give me the heal. Uh, can't really make use of this, but it's fine. I'm gonna heal him up. I'm gonna keep you safe, somehow. I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna keep you safe. <laughs> Even if it's the last thing that I do. Quite literally, because I can't do anything right now. Okay. Oh, my turns. My turns. <laughs> Angel's protection. Heal. Lightning draw. Hit. I 
It sinks! Anything? Charge of Fate would be great. I have a tantrum. I, I can't use the tantrum. Holy lights! Sure. Sure. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Okay, we dodged that. Another dodge. That's good. Take aim. Oh, Deep and Fort. I mean... Demon Ford isn't bad. Oh god. Oh, timer! <laughs> timer! Heal him up! Okay. That's not so bad. Heal him back up. Then we can use this. That's getting ready. I can go for another Divine Revelation. 22 damage for the girl. Divine Revelation into first class to heaven. And another here, of course. First class to heaven. 61? 2 HP? Are you kidding me? Wait, you can actually make use of this. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! It's fine! It's fine! We avoided the fog. We avoided the fog. And have a new party member. The ninja, from the looks of it. Hein, seriously, we need to work on you. You are... Maybe... Do I have anything that gives some armor, perchance? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe? You might need it. I mean, I have protection. Maybe in the future I'm going to give him protection or something like that. Oh god, Hein. Every time. You die every time. But hey, we have a skill book here. Which gives us blinking heal. Increases the target's chance to be attacked or decreases it. Prophecy increased healing amount by 3. Ooh, that sounds handy. Same as dual. Neutralation. More infinite swords. Actually speaking, seeing how Hein literally dies over and over again, it might actually be better for me if I uh, were to give that to him in order to ensure that he doesn't get targeted that often. Right? But on the other hand, I really like Duel. And Infinite Swords. Mm, but then again, 39 damage. That's a lot of damage for two cost. Maybe if we just kill the enemies quicker. Hmm? How about that? If we just kill the enemies quicker, that would certainly pay out, right? Tear up might actually be better. And then I can forget the heal. And that should fix our problem a little. But then again, the only heal that he currently has is for others that literally hurts him a little. Oh, Hein, I don't know about you. I'm just not sure about you. You always die. Hein, you always die on me. <laughs> Every time, Hein. I know that you're mad. But somehow I thought you would be a little bit more durable than this, Hein. Just a little bit more durable. It's fine. Oh well, at the very least we have another campfire. So you have another chance to recover, Hein. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Every time, Hein. Every time. And now we need to eat another bread. Two breads. What am I gonna do with that guy? What am I gonna do? I mean, I could upgrade him. I have another option to upgrade. If played from hand, the next skill of evolution sword buff costs less. Oh, that sounds good. Restore one mana if the skill is exchanged or discarded. That sounds also really good. Depending on which skill we are talking about. That is generally better for everyone. So I might actually want to go for this. Yep. Yeah. Endless rage. Endless rage. 
It's gonna be endless rage. Now I could blacksmith something. I just need to remove the healing item from the boy really quickly. I can re-enter the campfire, right? I'm pretty sure I can re-enter the campfire. Which means I'm gonna take this off from you. And you're gonna turn two healing items into anything else about a healing item, please. Damage received? Probably not good. But, uh, sure. <laughs> Thanks? I take it? I could try to level somebody up again. Toolkit, fashion magazine. Yeah, that's not gonna. That's not a cut. Not gonna cut it with a priest, a murderer, a tank, and a mercenary. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna. That's not gonna work out for those guys. Uh, Hein, it kind of seems like a. Oh shoot! I need to use it differently. Um, Hein, I know you kind of end up dying over and over again, but surely, surely you will like this, right? Surely, surely you will like this. Let's make another donation of five hundred gold. And I would say, this is the perfect moment for us to make a little cut. In the next part, we're going to continue our exploration, and I will try my best to keep Hein somehow alive. So far, it's kind of dying over and over again, but surely, at some point, we can actually keep him alive. Right? Surely, at some point. Right? <laughs> oh god, that guy. <laughs>